are opening the program, showing you this beautiful building that I'm sure you have already recognized. I'm talking about El Presidio of Santa Barbara, and with me is Jared Brack. How are you? I'm doing very well. Jared does PR and membership coordinator of the Santa Barbara Trust for Historic Preservation. Yeah. I do understand that. <laughs> that is correct. That is my title. Well, uh, you know, that's a beautiful organization. They have so many things going on. Very good nonprofit for Santa Barbara. What's the mission of the nonprofit? Well, I, the trust was established in 1963, and the mission is to preserve, restore, reconstruct uh, historic sites in Santa Barbara County. And we're very happy to have El Presidio de Santa Barbara State Historic Park, which is kind of our, our, our signal site and our, our home base here. Tell me a little bit about the history, briefly, about the history of uh, El Presidio, because I know it's very important for us to... Yeah, to get an understanding of the exactly. base here. Yeah, the El Presidio de Santa Barbara was established in 1782 um, by the Spanish, and it was a, a presidio, which was a fort at the time. Mm -hmm. Its purpose was to secure an area. It was actually in from L.A. all the way up to San Luis Obispo. So what we have for the city of Santa Barbara is the, the first permanent residence. Um, um, and, and, first and building? A, yes, okay. and essentially the, the beginning of the city. Um, of course, Chumash um, Indians were here in, in this area, but this is the first you know, solid presence, um, and like I said, the first building here. So really, the city grew out from these walls and expanded. So I'm glad you mentioned that because I know you got a recognition, right? An award. Can you yeah. explain me about that? Yeah, re recently, um, actually our contractor, Channel Coast Corporation, who is working with us to reconstruct this portion of uh, the Presidio, the northwest corner, mm -hmm. they recently were awarded by the Santa Barbara Contractors Association um, the best green building uh, for the year, uh, for this project right here, which you see in front of you. And um, it's something both the Trust and Channel Coast are very, very proud of um, because it really, I think, highlights uh, the unique nature of this. Um, it's made of, again, local materials, everything from the wood to the reed to tiles to the adobe bricks. Can we go so, and see some of that? Yes, let's okay, do it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> this building is, it's, it's sitting on the foundations of the original Presidio, so it's exactly where it was at the time. And what we've done from there on is try to use, uh, uh, try to stay as true as we can to the original materials and, and, and uh, construction I can see habits. It right away here. Yeah, this is, this is amazing. This is um, uh, reed that was harvested locally and used. This was um, you know, something that was used at the time of the con the, when the Presidio was constructed, starting in 1782 up into 1790s. And um, you know, it's, again, it's just a great example of using natural resources. Exactly. Um, and you I can like see the timber as well is harvested. Nails at the time were in short supply, so that's why you see the animal rawhide, mm -hmm. which they actually used to tie things together. So it's amazing. And yeah. you were talking about you know how natural the elements are, but also the the process of it, right? Yeah, it's a very unique process. You can tell these are all adobe walls, and they've been they've been plastered and coated um, right now for protection to keep them protected. But um, it's all mud and dirt that was actually taken from the Presidio site. Um, we add uh, a few uh, modern day things, a little oil to, to make them stand the test of time a little better, but uh, the, the, st the straw, the water, the mud, it's, it's all you know, original process that, that we continue. And it's still going. Yeah, on. and to complete this project, I mean, we're talking like 50,000 adobe bricks, so mm -hmm. it's quite an undertaking um, and it's, 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 it's steadily proceeding, so. Let's go and see inside a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see uh, up in here, it's just absolutely beautiful work um, by Channel Coast. Um, the beams, uh, the, 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 the wood logs, and the reading. Um, it's a beautiful building. And this is actually the site, it's going to be our new visitor center. These two rooms, um, we're currently working uh, to establish a new museum plan. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to actually move the visitor center and kind of come up with a, a new idea that really talks about the entire history of the Presidio neighborhood. So this is where that's going to be located. Yeah, you were um, mentioning that you you got some uh, areas around, right? Like the one we have in front here. Yeah, one of um, one of our biggest uh, projects uh, that that we just undertook was purchasing Jimmy's Oriental Gardens, which is directly across the street here. Mm -hmm. um, Longtime favorite restaurant and uh, and bar for Santa Barbara locals. And it was actually, the, the, it's the last remnant of, of Chinatown in Santa Barbara. And so the Trust for Historic Preservation, we bought that from the Chung family. And what we hope to do is incorporate it into the, the state park and use it to talk about the Asian history in the Presidio. Because like I said, there's, it's very layered. We have you know, everything from Native American to Spanish, to Mexican to American to Chinese. And actually part of this was once Japanese town. So um, we're really, like I said, just kind of trying to capture 
the, the layered history of this very unique neighborhood in Santa Barbara. Definitely. That plus uh, the Presidio Research Center, that's something else that is just yeah, another, so much. Yeah, another wonderful, <laughs> wonderful project actually carried out with the help of Chama Coast Corporation. It's a 1920 um, uh, studio art building. It's been restored. It's absolutely beautiful. It's free to use for the public. You can access photos, documents, take a look at some artifacts and um, I encourage everybody to visit it. It's, it's, it's a wonderful thing to see. How can people help or volunteer? Well, we're always looking for help in numerous ways and volunteering, uh, same thing. The best way, I would say, visit our website at sbthp.org um, and you can get a little overview of all the different information going on and uh, you can kind of take it from there. Or you can there. come to Plum All right, of course, uh, number, number one, please come and visit mm -hmm. um, El Presidio de Santa Barbara State Historic Park. Do you have a phone number? You can actually call us at 965-0093 uh, and speak with a live body and they'll, they'll help you out and tell you how you can get involved. Well, thank you, Jared, for your help. I think this here. is a beautiful building, my favorite, to be honest, in ah, the whole area. Good. So that's how we start and we'll go and see and visit more organizations, but for now, Thank you. Thank you. And visit us our own website at www.sbchannels.tv. For more information on the nonprofit spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv or call 963-3893. If you'd like your nonprofit featured in a future nonprofit spotlight, contact us at the information on your screen.